Hey y'all, it's me um, after I filmed it. And uh, before y'all watch this video, I know I'm gonna be quick because I know you really wanna watch it. But before I watch the video, I just wanna let you know that I that um, the quality for this video is way higher than what it usually is because usually I spend less than five minutes editing the videos. I just go boom, boom, boom and add all the videos together, add all the videos together and send it up, make that, make my video. But today I actually sat down did some work and worked on making the video and editing it and making it look good. So the production quality is up and better than the last video. So let's get on to the video. that ready brought the ultralight thinking maybe it might be able to use it I might not have to but better to have it than not yeah. to have it. let's go get ourselves some fish decided to bust out the ultralight first cast with the beetle spin boom look what I caught the release oh, yeah. bigger results oh hang on yo welcome to my fishing deck you know how professionals have that thing where it's like, oh, Bill Dance's fishing deck? Well, this is mine. On the bank. Just like that. Oh. Boom, with them with six pounds of line. Boom, guys, just like that. Oh, oh, yeah. Boom, guys, look at this little dude right there on. Oh, let me get the sucker out. Hooked him right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful fish. I love these pond fish. They're so feisty, even though they're small. And they're a lot of fun on this ultralight. Oh my god, yeah, I can't even see my face. Yeah, boom, boom. I'm trying to keep them from getting the grass. I know that hurts them. Alright, so let me just boom. Hook out. Popped out pretty easy. Because I got a good hook set. Got them right in the corner of the mouse. And I'm going to kiss them. Because I love these fish. And now for the relief. Dude, let's go! Let's go! I'm hyped, dude. This is a lot of fun. That's two fish. Two casts. Oh, oh. Boom, right on the bank. Oh, it's a little bluegill. Look at that. Look at that, guys. Get that sucker right on the bank. Literally, right there, two feet from the bank. Show two. Oh, he's spying me. There he goes. Back under the water. That's three fish. The bluegill. That. He ate it literally two feet away from the shore. A little piece of drain. I think, it, I think the water drained from there leads to there, so let's try it. We are right up next to the drain. If there's any fish on it, they'll want it. Got one. All that stuff is going right there. It was good. Oh, it's swirling, look. Oh, it's a bluegill. It's another bluegill. Bluegills seem to love this bait. That's for sure. Just say that, calm down. It's hard giving, you gotta give them a second to calm down, you know what I'm saying? Fix out, and there you go. Now I got fish slime on my hands, I gotta wipe up. So, yeah. There was a fish in that thing. I knew there would be a fish. Let's go see a fish. Only one. Uh, when I, well, I'm packing up. Cut two bluegill, two bass. Uh, they're all small, but they were a lot of fun. I cut them on the beetle spin. 
Watch the light. See, new is a good thing to bring that rod. But uh, found some new spots over there that I'm gonna fish. There's a turtle crossing the green over there. Hold up. Whoa, hold on. Look at this thing. Hang on. I'm running down here because look at this thing. It's a turtle. Look who I found. Where you going, buddy? Why aren't you going back that way? Huh? Where you going? I'll step back in the pond. Where'd you come out of? Oh, look, you came out of right there. You can see the trail. There he goes. All right, let's watch him. Go. Let's watch. Go. Watch him. Go ahead, little guy. Go. Anyways, I'm out there in that turtle. Came up, I saw him. He was in the middle of the green. He was crossing. I'm like, oh. I'm gonna go get that guy. I ran all the way down there. And I didn't want to touch him because I thought that would be kind of rude, so I just watched him. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, had a blast. Uh, though my blue rod, that has mono fishing line, um, the line on it got all frayed and crap. And then I got a whole bunch of line twists because you know you get those line twists that you can't even get rid of that are that bad because they twist your line, they get a knot, and there's, then there's a little knot in your line. And, I gotta go get a new line on it. Do y'all have any good mono recommendations? If you do, comment down, bat down in the bottom of the video. And uh, as and uh, I guess I'll see y'all in the next video. <laughs> the little jig, he was barely hooked, but look, if you look little hole in the back of his mouth he's obviously been caught before it's a good little bass not too bad especially in the ultralight a lot of fun a lot of fun